We're going to talk about the Trimble Spectra Precision GL622N dual plane or dual slope laser. We're going to go through how to turn it on, how to check for level, setting it level, setting a cross slope percentage, setting your grade profile, and setting your dual grades. First thing you want to do, if you look at the face of it, down at the bottom right, you got a red button on off switch. You're just going to hold it in, it's going to light up. You might click and gear and do some things. The laser will not immediately start and once it kicks on. You'll notice you're going to have the X and Y options. Those correlate to the side of the laser. The X is denoted by a solid triangle and the Y is a triangle outline. And if you look at the triangles and which way they're running, so looking straight onto this, if we were looking down a roadway, this the X would be the cross slope. So as you put in a positive percentage, it's going to change. It's going to follow the slope of that triangle. If you go negative, it's going to go opposite. If you go to the side of the laser, that's where the Y is. Whatever positive percentage you put in, that's the direction that that triangle is going to be. So as you set this laser up right now, looking straight down, if we had this set up right now, this would be looking down a roadway, or down a road, up or down, and you would put in a positive or negative percentage based on is the road falling or rising. So when you turn it on, first thing you want to look at is the Y and X, are they all zeroed out? A lot of times if you leave a percentage in and turn it off, it's automatically going to kick on what was left off in the previous settings. And if you don't check it, you're going to be in trouble. A lot of people set up the laser. They get benched in. They don't ever check these settings. And they get in trouble. They do a lot of work for the day, and then they find out there's a problem. Hopefully they catch it early on. So for this exercise, if you look, we're going to pretend that the way the, we're facing the laser right now, we're looking down a road. And let's say we want to put a cross slope in. We'd be using the X because it runs this way for a cross slope, what you simply do, you've got a couple tab options up here. You got one, two, three, four, and then you've got your directional arrows on the bottom that are five, six, seven, eight. You want to go up to number two, where it has a triangle percentage, you're going to click it. It's going to light up. Now you got to decide which way do you want to do your um, slope percentage. For this, we want to do cross slope based on how the orientation of the laser is. We're going to go to X. And for this, we're simply going to do, we'll do 8% so you can see it. I'm going to mark it up on the board so you can see the difference from level. And then once we get this set, you're going to use the 1 and 2 buttons for up, plus or minus to go up or down. And be sure if it's, we're using 8%, which is pretty drastic, you never have a cross slope. But for this exercise, so you can see what the laser itself does. Check that it's percentage and not decimal form. So 8% would be 8.00. Then you go over to the 4, the return button. That's going to lock it. The laser will shut down. It's going to readjust. Once it gets set, it'll kick back on and you now have your cross slope percentage. It's kicked back on and you can see the difference from the original level grade it was shooting out. Now we have the cross slope in. Let's say you wanted to put no cross slope in and you want to do a grade profile. Well, now we have to go to the side. This is X, so now we're going to do a grade percentage. You want to take your cross slope out, so you have to go back and push 2. Click that, it opens you back up. And the shortcut to zero out your X is push 1, that's 0, 0. Zeroes it out. And you can go back up to Y. Let's make this 8%. So. The way this is configured right now, we're going to be going uphill if I were to go to straight forward on 8%. So now we'll punch that in. We'll be basically setting our roadway profile or sidewalk grading, whatever you call it. Get that set, push four, lock it back in. Laser is going to shut down, readjust.
uh, dual slopes. You want to put in your cross slope and you also want to put in your grade profile. And again, I'm using 8% just so you can see the exaggeration of the line. You would go back, HRDM. For a grade percentage, we want to set the cross slope based on the orientation of the laser. And I'll set that up to 8 using the 1 and 2. That's good. Lock it down by pushing 4. Again, the laser is going to shut down. It doesn't turn off, it just stops, readjust, and it's going to kick back on. And now you can see the difference by applying a dual slope to your situation, how it differs from the original level beam that shot out at the start. Whenever you shut these down, it's always a good habit for the day, it's end of the shift, you're shutting down for the day, go ahead and zero these out. It's very simple, you just push one or the 0, 0.00, hit it for the Y, go down to the X, we're gonna zero that out, lock it, again it's gonna sh shut down, readjust, and it's gonna go back, since this is self-leveling, it's gonna go back to zero. Once it fires up, then it's a good time to turn it off. That way, if somebody else sets it up the next day, you're not leaving any percentages in there. The worst thing would happen, they're going to cut everything flat. It's been reset, laser turned back on. Now you just hold in the red button and it'll turn off.